In my previous video about my Home Assistant setup, I mentioned that I'm using Wittings or Wittings integration. And I asked if anybody is interested in the video about the Wittings integration inside Home Assistant. And a couple of you said yes. So here is the Wittings integration for Home Assistant. Let me start by thanking all those wonderful people that have joined the YouTube channel and become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But also thanks to everybody who watched, subscribed or liked my videos. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below. And I really must thank once again for all of the support so far. Now let's get started with today's Bittings video. Wittings is a manufacturer of health-related equipment or devices, and all of them are smart devices. Those devices can be watch that tracks your beats per minute for the heart, steps, but also the SpO2 for the oxygen inside your blood. They have various scales, ranging from the simple ones, simple meaning that they just measure your weight, the body mass, the fat mass and the water mass of your body but there are some more advanced ones that also track your vascular system. There are also blood pressure monitors, ranging from simple ones to the more complex one that also track your heartbeat and information about your heart. Sleep monitors allow you to track your sleep patterns, breathing, snoring and sleep apnea. And the one and the only device I have from Wittings is a Wittings thermometer, which we really do love. Well, maybe some of us love them, others hate it, but it works very well. So what's so special about Wittings? With Wittings, all of the devices are smart devices. And when I say smart thermometer, I mean that it allows you to track independently temperature for, I think, up to six or eight family members. And it's also very simple to use. I will not be going into details on how to set up each of the Wittings devices, not just because it would take too much time, but because the process is very simple. And also, as I said, I only have thermometer. So you are wondering what you will get from the Wittings integration inside Home Assistant. For my main setup, I have Wittings integration enabled and set up, and I have four profiles. Each profile is tied to a family member. What this allows, it allows me to track independently measures for the temperature, or if you would have scale, independently to track the scale information, or for the blood pressure monitor, you would get the individual reading of each of the four family members. One thing that I didn't know that thermometer, for example, gives you, it gives you three readings for each of the temperatures taken. You get the body temperature, you have skin temperature and you also have room or ambient temperature when the temperature was taken. So for example, my temperature was 37.14 degrees centigrade, my skin temperature was 35.43 and room temperature was 21.78 degrees centigrade. In this video I will not be covering what you can do with data. But one of the things that probably you can do is simple integration that would notify you if any of the readings goes above certain threshold or vice versa, if any of the readings falls below certain threshold. So for example, here, let's say that we all have pretty normal standard and not high temperatures or fevers. If I would create an automation, I could trigger it, for example, to be 37.4 or 37.5 degrees and get notified when each or any of these temperature readings goes above it. And when I say each, I think only body temperature. Yes, because the room temperature and skin temperature can be higher than the body temperature, especially in the summer. Let's stop talking about the Wittings devices, what they can do and what they cannot do. And let's talk about Wittings integration. Wittings integration is part of the standard Home Assistant integrations. It was introduced in Home Assistant 0 0.99 and 911 users have this activated inside their Home Assistant. So there are two ways on how you can set up the Wittings integration. First thing, of course, you need to have already set up your Wittings account and you need that for the applications that you will be installing on your mobile phone, either Android or iOS, when you purchase the Wittings devices. 
so this step I will definitely skip. One of the next steps will be to create developer account and for this I will be tying my current existing Withings account and be using that one to create developer account. The second step depends on whether you are using Nabucasa or not. I really do recommend for anybody that still hasn't set up external access to Home Assistant to go with the Nabucasa because it's simple, it's not that expensive and all the money you put in Nabucasa goes towards the development of Home Assistant and integrations such as this one. So if you are using Nabucasa it's very simple, you do not have any other prerequisites except to get your Nabucasa ID. So let's start with the Wittings integration. First, we need to create a free development account. When you open the link for the developer account, you either log in with your email address or password, or you can use your Apple ID or Google ID to continue to the next step. If you already didn't set up the Wittings account, you have option to create one here. I will be using this option just to show you what are the steps for creating account. Once again, you can sign in with Apple or Google, but I will be using fake account. Select your time zone and you have to agree at least with the terms and privacy and consent that Wittings can process your data. Press create. And now we have to fill in some of the information. I will show you two ways, Nabucasa way and if you are not using Nabucasa. If you are not using Nabucasa, in order for this Wittings integration to work, you have to have following. First, you have to use fully qualified domain name. For example, this can be my.homeassistant.net if you own that domain. Or it can be DuckDNS domain. But it has to be fully qualified domain name. Second, you have to have SSL certificate. You cannot use self-created certificate. For this, certificate needs to be from a certificate authority. But Let's Encrypt will do. Application name can be Home Assistant. If you want, you can put here description. HA integration for Wittings. Contact email, you can type in here your email address that you use to connect or create your account. Company, Home Assistant. Callback URL depends on whether you are using Nabucasa or you have your own domain. For the Nabucasa, you can use something like this. You just have to replace this part with your Nabucasa ID. If you are using your own domain name, fully qualified domain name, you have to replace this part and type here my domain home org. If this, of course, is your domain name. And yes, it can be even the subdomain. So callback URL is HTTPS, your domain name, auth for authorization, external callback. This is mandatory field and it has to be available from the outside. Unable restricted mode, you can leave yes. And yes, you also have to provide a logo. Logo can be any image. Let me just load here my logo. I accept the general terms and conditions and I will press register. And this is it. We have created developer account and we have received client ID and the consumer ID for Wittings integration. So we have client ID and the consumer ID. These two IDs we will need later on. Let's now go to the last step and that step is Home Assistant. Next step is to edit our configuration YAML file. We have to add three lines to enable Wittings integration. You can do that, of course, in the file editor or Studio Code Server. I will be using Studio Code Server. Let's open it. And at the bottom of the configuration YAML file, I will add following. Wittings, as I always add comment so that I know what I'm doing here. Wittings. And we have to provide here client ID and client secret. Next step is to copy client ID and client secret from the Wittings web developer menu. Of course, I don't recommend that you keep either client ID or client secret here. What you would have to do is go to secrets YAML file, 
create Wittings client ID and Wittings client secret and then use secret Wittings client ID instead of this string. Do the same thing from the client secret. After you have added client ID and client secret to your secret CML file, go to configuration, settings and check your configuration and restart Home Assistant. After Home Assistant has restarted, press on the plus sign, add integration, type with things, and you may be presented with this screen. This screen forces you to log in to your account. Type in your email address or use continue with Apple or continue with Google. I will be pressing continue with Google. Select my account. And now you will see a list of users. Select any profile you want to monitor inside Home Assistant and you can use more than one profile. I'll add me, allow this up, I will give it a name Andre and let me quickly add all the other users. And this is it, I've added all four users and each user has 34 entities, at least in my case. Note that this integration pulls all the entities for all the devices, even the devices that you don't have. So if you open this up, for a lot of the integrations, you will see that those are disabled. Some will have unavailable status and others will show as available, but you will be missing data. This all depends on what Wittings device you have, if it's only one or multiple devices. I know that I only have temperature ones. Body, skin and room or ambient temperature. And this is it you now should have all the data available from the Wittings integration. As I mentioned in my setup video that I did last week, Wittings integration does have one small bug. And this bug is that from time to time you may get notified that this integration needs to be reintegrated. But don't worry, even if you skip that step and you still have that warning here in the Home Assistant, you may use it and the data will be synchronized. If you want to improve on Home Assistant integration, there is one additional thing that you can add to your configuration YAML file. Use web hooks. True. If you enable use of web hooks, there will be a difference in how data is synchronized. If the use web hooks is false or missing, data will be automatically synchronized every 10 minutes. But if you enable use webhooks, data will be synchronized as soon as there is new data available inside the Wittings app. And if there is no new data available, the new data will be refreshed every two hours. My recommendation for you would be to use webhooks and set that to true. In regard to the bug or issue with the Wittings integration, down in the description of the video, you will find a link to this issue on GitHub. As you can see, it has been opened a long time ago, more than a year ago. The thing is that it's still open and the last comment on it was day ago. This issue is more annoying than it has impact on the functionality, but still be aware of it. If there is any new information about it, I will be leaving it down in the description of the video. And this is it for this Home Assistant how-to with Bearded Tinker. I really hope that the number of Wittings devices in my home will rise. I'm looking at the sleep mattress, but I have to get at least two, so it tracks both me and my wife. And I also would like to get my hands on this more advanced version of the blood pressure meter to see how my heart works too. The integration itself is not that bad, but if you are not using Nabucasa, there are a little bit more steps than it would be with Nabucasa. So my recommendation is definitely, if you are using Nabucasa, go with that one. And this is it. If you have any kind of a comment or a question in regard to this video, you can always leave comment down in the comment section below, but also feel free to go to the Discord server and leave it there. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up, because it not just means a lot to me, and it really does, but it also helps with the YouTube algorithms. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future video updates. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.